Well, I think the big thing that we're faced with now is, yes, we accomplished a lot this past weekend, but we can't afford to think we've got it all figured out. We can't afford to think that there's not an awful lot of work still left, a lot of baseball left to be played. And we've got to continue to work hard. This is a great day to, to get something done, and that's what we intend to do. We haven't had many practices because we've played so much. So this is a, an absolute perfect day the good Lord has made. We're going to take advantage of it and practice baseball. Coach, after that sweep, uh, you said you, you still don't have it all figured out, uh, but what are some things you figured out from those three games? Well, we're starting to see uh, our pitchers becoming more comfortable in their roles. We're also seeing guys that are getting more playing time now to adjust easier. Some Sometimes young guys have a problem uh, a pitcher may work them a certain way the first time through the lineup, and if they're not concentrating when they go up there the next time, they're going to get worked the same way. Well, same result. They've got to learn that if a guy got me out on a fastball away, i got to be looking for a fastball away my next step back. Did the starters kind of provide a jolt for, for, for this team over the weekend? There's no question. You, you're... Uh, you're only as good as your starting pitching. That's the way it's been in baseball for many, many moons, and that's the way it certainly is here at Florida State. We got three good starts. We didn't get three quality starts, but we got three good starts. I thought things could have been different had we executed a little bit better when Shane Drohan was on the left. But can't say enough about Connor Grady. You can't. Uh, you can't. You can't expect a guy to go out there and accomplish what he did. Will Trohan get the start Saturday? Will you we give Brady not, a shot? We have not made a, that decision yet, and I'm sorry, but we just haven't made that decision yet. That is a discussion, though, I presume? That is still a discussion. But we obviously will go with Parrish on Thursday and CJ on Friday. Are you happy to see your guys just kind of rewarded for – continuing to fight and continuing to try to do the right things and, and get a result that they probably deserve? Very much so. Anybody that has worked as hard as they have and had their ups and downs and pressed, for lack of a better word, they pressed a little bit. Things didn't go their way, but they, they get chances to drive in runs and hit balls right at somebody or we would have a chance to get out of an inning and we would make a mistake or throw it to the wrong base or miss a cutoff man. Everything that we were doing wrong was honing us. And we got a couple of breaks this past weekend. And we, we took advantage of it. But we can't look at anything except we have a long road and it's uphill, and we got to keep battling. You said it the other day. You don't, after that big series win, you don't, you don't want them to fall in love with themselves. But is it nice seeing them at practice? They're a little bit more loose today. You think, kind of, I don't know. It's mentally taxing when, when you lose like they were losing. Well, it's it's the competitiveness in them when they when they were playing their guts out and, and not getting the win. Now they played their guts out and they got a win and winning brings smiles. Smiles bring looseness. looseness. That's what this game can do to you. You have to be mentally tough. Our guys have proven that they're mentally tough. Now it's up to us to continue to understand that's not enough. We've got to continue to try to get better and make the other team earn everything. Virginia is a team that I mean, can relate with how you guys have felt at points this season. What have you seen from them and what do you expect of them this weekend? I expect them to be just as good as they've ever been. They're not having the year that we would expect them to have. But if I'm not mistaken, they won the national championship five years ago, six years ago. They're well represented in the city of Charlottesville. There'll be a lot of, 
lot of people out for the ball game. They're, they got a chip on their shoulder having gotten swept last week by Miami, so they, they'll have a lot of incentive when we show up. So there again, I'll say it again, we've got to be ready to go and do the little things it takes to be successful. Still expecting to have Reese back this weekend? Reese Albert. Well, he bunny today. It's the first time I've seen able to do anything for about three weeks. So we're hoping and praying that he's able to go. And I'll be anxious to see what it looks like tomorrow night when we're in Charlottesville. He'll start swinging the bat for the first time to see how it feels.